couple tripping this weekend. I don't know, man. Let's talk about it. Yo, 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 welcome to the Concrete Show, man. It's your boy Salo. We back at it again, keeping everything 1K. Once again, appreciate all the subscribers to the channel. 1K, all love. But we got a little situation on our hand. You know what I'm saying? You guys don't know, the Florida State Clemson game, you know what I'm saying, got canceled. And Dabble had a lot to say about it. All right, but we gotta know, is Dabble tripping? I'm saying, going with the argument, I highlighted, let y'all, you guys let me know, I'm saying, at the end of the video, how you feel about you, if you, if you think that will tripping or not, I'm saying, but, uh, the time, pretty much, the uh, whole thing, Dabble saying, he's pretty pissed off, pissed off at Florida State that the game was canceled, I'm saying, we, they, they supposedly postponed it, but the way he was talking, the game was done, it's canceled, done, nipped in the bud, boom. But timeline kind of goes um, Saturday. Uh, we find out Saturday morning that Clemson and Florida State not playing. I don't know if they had a noon game. If they did, you know what I'm saying, Saturday morning was pretty last minute. You know I'm saying that's pretty last minute, unprofessional. You know what I'm saying whether it's be from administration, the medical staff, etc. But we find out they're not playing, all right? And then we get, you hear from Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence goes on Twitter and said, dang, man, we were ready to play. We were ready. You know what I'm saying Trevor Lawrence been out two weeks, they had a bye week last week, so uh, you know I'm saying, he ain't played a football game in three weeks, so you know what I'm saying, he, he's pretty, he was pretty amped up to go, when you put in about two weeks of preparation for an opponent, you know I'm saying, you got your mind settled now, you put in a lot of work, you know I'm saying, trying to dissect them, you put a lot of time into it, all right, so yeah, of course you want to get that game off, you know saying, especially Trevor, he's excited, man, you know what I'm saying, the coaching staff, you know what I'm saying I, I guarantee the coaching staff on both sides it was pretty upset that I wasn't able to go through. All right, so Trevor Lawrence pissed off. Um, Dabo, he's pretty, he's pretty upset. You know I'm saying he had an interview, I believe, yesterday. You know I'm saying he was talking about basically he was saying that uh, they pretty much uh, beat all the requirements in order to play. All right, they had a guy, a backup offensive lineman. You know I'm saying he had symptoms during practice, I believe, throughout the week, but. He was testing negative. All right, he was, he was testing negative throughout the week, whatever. But Friday come along, I believe he traveled with the team. I believe he was in Tallahassee, was in Tallahassee already. I don't know, maybe before they left the bus. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Friday comes along, he tests positive. You know what I'm saying they had to immediately isolate themselves from him. All right. Florida State hears that, they, that he tested positive that Friday night. All right. But Saturday morning, they canceled the game. Everybody's ready to go. Even Florida State ready to go. I heard they was having breakfast, whatever. You know what I'm saying pregame breakfast, all that stuff. You know I'm saying they, I think that's when they had called it. I don't know if it was during pregame breakfast or after. You know what I'm saying the medical staff had to call it. I don't think it was Norvell. I don't know if it was the AD, but the medical staff most definitely called it. All right, but Dabo, he was pretty pissed off about it. He was like, he don't think it was a COVID thing. He think it was a. Uh, they use COVID as an excuse not to play, all right? But you know I'm saying by the sound of that, it's like, yo, y'all use COVID because y'all didn't want to get your ass whooped, all right? And pretty much, like I said, man said he took nine buses. Clemson took nine different buses, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of money. Nine different buses, plus hotel, plus food, I believe he said. That's about 300 stacks that they just wasted down the drain. So they can't get that back, no ticket sales, revenue, except whatever, you know what I'm saying? So the reason I'm going back reason I said that it might be canceled besides postponed because Dabble was like, hey, I'm not playing unless y'all come up with clips in the play or y'all pay us that 300k back. You know what I'm saying? Which doesn't seem realistic, right? But uh, who knows? It could happen. I don't know. Maybe clips have changed their mind and they go into it. I'm saying it, it depends. Probably probably what the um what the standards look like in the ACC. Whatever. But Dabble, he's pretty, I say he's pretty pissed off. He said, then he kind of tried to double back a little bit, saying that Florida State didn't want to get whooped. But he said, yeah, I'm sure their players want to play. I'm sure Florida State players want to play. I'm sure their coaches want to coach. I'm saying, so like, I'm saying if they didn't want, I mean, the administration, they can't get whooped. I'm saying, they could take the L, but they still getting their revenue. I'm saying, so it was really no loss for them. So then they, I think Dabble, like, little sneak shot, but he tried to be a little professional, trying to throw it on, coaching the players. They said they didn't want to get whooped, even though he said that 
he knew that they were that the Florida State player and coach was going to play and coach. But um, I don't know, man. Maybe he was being a little uh, because when you think about it, Clemson had a surge during the summer. Had like 23 players with COVID or whatever. So at Florida State, they had coaches. He just had coaches or whatever. I'm saying it kind of seemed like Dabble was a little insensitive just to the whole COVID situation. Like, hey, I'm saying we play all the time. You know what I'm saying like, and everybody's okay. You know what I'm saying people spreading the people on the field, whatever. But everybody's good. Like, nobody's really catching it from everybody else. Like, we, I'm saying it's good. Like, just relax. You know what I'm saying you guys are overreacting. You know what I'm saying, but you know I'm saying a choice of words like that kind of make you a little insensitive to like the people that lost family through COVID and all that stuff, man. So, you know what I'm saying, but I'm pretty sure he didn't want to, he didn't mean it in that way. You know what I'm saying, but you gotta watch yourself in the world like today. We're in a real sensitive world today, man. Like anything you say will be tried against you. you know what I'm saying by the cancel culture. So you got you definitely gotta watch out for that, Dabo. I'm saying I you guys let me know in the comments what you think. Anybody you think he was tripping or not. You know what I'm saying? But coming from a football point of view, you know what I'm saying that's just the competitive nature, especially when coaches spend hours, players spend hours, you know what I'm saying, trying to prep uh, for their opponent. You know what I'm saying Clemson, I'm pretty sure they're very tight knit group, you know what I'm saying? Very deep, very detail oriented. I mean that's what that's what makes a good football team, very detail oriented. You know what I'm saying? Um with the book, as far as football goes, you know what I'm saying, they, they probably strict on that. So, I'm saying, you put all that work in, you know what I'm saying, even though it's like another day for them, but you still put a lot of work in. $300,000, that's a lot of money. You know I'm saying, but uh, going back to it, you know I'm saying, they Clemson, they had a surge in the summer, whatever. They had their starting quarterback go out, Trevor Lawrence, whatever. And, uh, and Dabo said they made all protocols. I'm saying he said, yeah, even though he tested positive, like everybody else tested negative. So I'm saying, so we was good to go. I'm saying the reason he was upset, cause he's like, yo, everybody's positive. Like every everything's good to go. I'm saying we got enough players to play. Nobody else is positive. I'm saying we the people that's with us is all negative. We just tested with each other. You know what I'm saying, but Florida State probably had the back of their mind, like, hold on, like, are you sure? Cause this man was practicing all week with y'all. You know I'm saying he rode the bus with y'all. I'm saying this thing might come up later on for them boys. We don't know, really don't know the virus like that. It could be incubating in you and you don't really know that it's in you and even like you might have some false negatives at the same time. So I'm saying so that's I can understand both point of views, like Florida State canceling the game, which is pretty understandable. So you can't really you can't really fault them. You can't really fault anybody. I'm saying that's just something. Novell said he tried to talk to Dabo, but he they didn't have. I don't know the word. It was kind of weird. It's like they didn't connect. I don't know if he didn't connect. Like didn't reach him on the phone, or like didn't connect as far as they didn't see eye to eye on things. But I'm saying Norvell, even though Dabo swayed his shot towards the medical staff, I'm saying Norvell was like, you know, saying he got a good medical program, whatever, whatever. So um, I don't know, man. I think I think I'm a, like I said, I, I can see both sides, but. I'm gonna say Dabo's tripping just because his choice of words, though, man. If I'm keeping it 1K with y'all. I'm gonna say Dabo's tripping from his choice of words. I'm pretty sure he meant no harm, but it's definitely finna come back to bite him in the butt. You know what I'm saying he had some trouble in the past. You know what I'm saying? Talk about uh, 2016 with Kaepernick when he first took a knee. You know what I'm saying? He was saying he preferred his players don't take a knee, but you know what I'm saying he's not gonna punish him for it. But I, I understand what he's saying. Like, he preferred they don't take a knee, you know what I'm saying, during a time like this, because it. Especially political season 2016 is going to cost a lot of diversity. And football is a unity sport. You need everybody. It's a brotherhood sport. You need everybody in arms together. And you don't want a stupid thing like politics to kind of split y'all up. You know what I'm saying so I could. I understand where Dabble coming from. I don't like him personally. I just don't like Clemson. You know what I'm saying as a Hurricane fan, but um, I respect him a lot. <laughs> I don't mess with that. I ain't gonna say I don't like him. I don't mess with him, man. I ain't, I'm saying he's just. I'm a hurricane. I, I just don't like Clemson, pretty much. But you know I'm saying you gotta respect. I'm you know saying if you don't really mess with somebody, you gotta understand where they come from at the same time. You gotta have both lens open, see what's up, man. But comment, like, subscribe, man. Let me know what y'all think. Is Dabo bugging out or not, man? Let me know. Comment, like, subscribe. Always keep everything 1K. Fucking hoe by the thousand. Gon' fuck the yeah. other thousand. Stacking money by the thousand. I'ma stack my money by the thousand. In the booty club, we wild.